You gotta be kidding me. I guess you don't want me to show you how to do it. Hey, Glitter Critters, it's Breland here, and yeah, this is actually a thing. Sea sponge tampons. Whenever I saw this new way that women are using to absorb their bodily fluids, I was actually really intrigued and I thought it was super interesting. It's funny how you can use things from Mother Nature for this specific reason. And that's what I wanted to show you in this video today, how exactly to make a sea sponge tampon. Make sure you subscribe by clicking that button right below this video to become an official glitter critter so you'll never miss another period video like this one. So today I am also going to be showing you how you would insert such a thing, such as a sea sponge, into your vagina. You can insert it into your body and I also read that you can even have intercourse while the sponge is inside of your body. But uh, I do recommend removing it before such acts, actions. So now let's go ahead and let's get started. To create your Spongebob inspired tampons, you'll need some all natural sea sponges in whatever sizes you prefer. I got mine on Amazon. And don't think it's okay to go into your mom's kitchen caddy and stick a dish sponge up your jelly biscuit. That's not cool and that's not how this works. Normally dried up sea sponges are kind of stiff so I'm just going to rehydrate this little critter in some fresh clean water. And this is really going to soften it up and make it easier to work with. If you notice this is also around the same size as a regular tampon, however this is considered a smaller size sea sponge tampon. Next I'm sanitizing the sponge using some all natural soap diluted in some water and if you don't have any of the soap you can use any vaginal soap you like. Also make sure you rinse it thoroughly because you know you don't want any soap up in there. Since your skin actually absorbs everything you put into your body, traditional tampons can sometimes irritate your vajingjong because of the pesticides added to them. Sea sponges are free of all of those chemicals and filled with healthy sea minerals. This part is completely optional, but I would be a little freaked out not to have a string attached to this tampon, so I'm just going to be using some kitchen twine and threading it through the sponge using a toothpick. I recommend using a non-colored string and a needle for this, but this was all that I had. This is just an example of how to do it. After threading it through, you just want to tie it off and give it a couple of tugs just to make sure it's not going to rip out of your moon crater. It's so crazy to think that this thing was growing on the bottom of the ocean floor and now it's going to be in your ocean floor. Now I'm just repeating the same steps on this larger sponge and this sponge is actually a different texture than the other one but this time I'm just trimming it to fit with my scissors and this is a great way to customize your sponge to fit your body. These are so comfortable to wear and are non-drying unlike store-bought tampons. Like I said before, these can be worn during intercourse due to the fact that they are textured much like your vaginal walls and they can be used as a barrier during sex. They're also great if you need to insert any vaginal medicine or vaginal suppositories. To use, moisten with water, squeeze them out, and push them in. You could either twist them up or not twist them, it's however you prefer. To clean them or change them, all you do is remove them from your body, rinse in fresh water, and reinsert. Or if you're finished with your period, make sure you wash it and sanitize it like I showed you in the beginning. This way it'll last up to six months. So remember to subscribe to become an official glitter critter and let me know in the comments what you think and what do you use on your period. Period. Pads, tampons, diva cups, SpongeBob? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching and have a glitterful day.